A Washington Parish native wants to change the script when it comes to what he calls a negative perception of his hometown, Bogalusa. Kevin McGee is a filmmaker and decided not just to have conversations about it, but rather create a film. Mike McDaniel has his story. All having conversations. When Kevin McGee moved away from his hometown of Bogalusa back in 2010, he didn't like what he was hearing. If somebody brought up Bogalusa, it was either about crime, race, relations, or the smell of the paper mill. <laughs> that was it. While McGee admits all those things are issues, he says there's more to be told. You never see like the, the true, like the underbelly of Bogalusa. You don't see the hardworking people. After a month of planning, we did maybe four, three or four interviews per day. Filming began in early August. We have like 60 hours of footage. McGee's documentary style film brings together city leaders and community members looking back on a once dominant city in Washington Parish and what they hope for its future. I would love for Bogalusa to come back again and have businesses and have the schools and. Kathy Mitchell, who's in the film, has called Bogalusa home since the 70s. I raised my children here. My grandchildren are being raised here. Over the years, Mitchell says she has seen Bogalusa go from a thriving place for business and education to shuttered doors in poverty, which according to the 2010 census is at 40 percent. Why do you think the narrative did change? What I honestly think changed was um, around 2005, you had Katrina. You know, Katrina happened, you know, people left. According to the U.S. Census, the population in Bogalusa has been declining since 1960. Population estimates show 11,500 people called Bogalusa home last year. That's a 6% drop since 2010. I think eventually you had more bad things happening than good. McGee says while the bad may overshadow the good, he's hoping to cast some light. Although the story is about Bogalusa and it's to help the people that currently live there as well, it's also to change the narrative for people that don't live there. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. McGee's documentary film is currently in the editing process. It is expected to be released this fall.